Hi, my name is Ben McEwen. I'm a manager and immigration specialist here at BDV Solutions. Today, we are going to be talking about an EB3 case that went through the adjustment of status process for someone from Nepal. Adjustment of status is different from consular processing in that when you do adjustment of status, you actually begin your application process from within the United States. You come into the US with a valid status and then you adjust that status to applying for your green card. As with every EB3 process, you begin by filing a labor certification or an LC with the Department of Labor. This person's LC was filed in July of 2019. It received an audit in December of 2019. And an audit might sound scary or daunting initially, but for those of us here at BDV, it is a very routine procedure. It doesn't mean anything is wrong with your case. It doesn't mean anything is wrong with your sponsor. In fact, audits are issued at random to about 33% of LCs that are submitted. As you can see, this LC was approved shortly after the audit had been received. They got their approval in May of 2020, and that ends your process with the Department of Labor. At that time, you will be onboarded with attorneys that work together with BDV to go into the next stage of your process. It begins by filing an I-140 with USCIS, which is the immigration branch of the United States government. This person's I-140 was filed in December of 2020, and it is the employer's opportunity to show immigration that they have followed all of the appropriate steps to be able to sponsor you for their green card. Along with the I-140, you and the attorneys will file an I-485, which is the actual green card application in your EB-3 process. This I-485 was filed in October 29 of 2020. Shortly after that, the I-140 was approved. I-140s get processed much quicker than the I-485s for a couple of reasons. The first is that the I-140 lays the groundwork for the I-485. The second is that when you file an I-140 through BDV and our contracted attorneys, we file it with premium processing to speed that process up for you. Premium processing is already included in what you pay to BDV. After the I-140 was approved, this individual had their visa interview in September of 2022. So they waited about two years from the time that they filed the I-485 to actually having their visa interview. Following the visa interview, sometimes people are given their green cards right away. This individual didn't receive it right away, but it was no problem at all because the attorneys will continue to work with you to ensure the success of your application. If you leave your visa interview and don't have your green card immediately, it doesn't mean anything is wrong with your case. It just means that the government might have a few additional questions they want answered. We here at BDV, along with the attorneys that we're contracted with, will work with you to make sure that all of the government's questions are answered to ensure the success and that you end up getting your green card. So as you can see, a few months later after that visa interview, the I-485 was approved. And because that is your actual green card application, along with that 485 approval comes the green card. This person's process took 42 months adjusting status here in the United States. If you would like to learn more about the EB3 process and how BDB can help you get a green card, please subscribe to our channel to learn more.